Hey, this is Dan with School of Sheets. We build custom smart sheet solutions, and today I'm going to answer a question from the Smart Sheet Users Unite Facebook group. We have somebody here that's um, asking about how they can make a chart from their list of drop downs. So she's saying, I have a column with various drop downs, and I want a pie chart to break down the selections. The example is that there are 10 rows in the food choice column, and the options are cookies or chips. There's five of each, so she expects her pie chart to show 50% cookies and 50% chips. Technically, it doesn't matter if this is a drop down or a text, it just needs to have the right values. And now we need to actually make a data sheet to, or I call it a metric sheet, to capture the overall information in a format that we can use to make a chart. This is the structure that we need for a really basic metric sheet. And no matter how complex your graphing might be, this is basically what you do. So we're going to use a cross sheet formula that's going to look at the entirety of the food choices drop down list sheet that we first made. And we're going to count the options that match what's in this metrics column. Sometimes uh, when you're doing cross sheet references, it can be a little bit of a pain to actually pull up the appropriate sheet in your list. So if you copy the exact name and then go back here and start building your formula, open the reference paste that in, it'll show up very reliably. I also recommend that you write a sheet reference name in here that describes what you're looking at in a way you can understand. I always do the sheet name and then an underscore and then the name of the column. Sometimes I'll abbreviate it if it's very complex, but this is good. So again, to build this count if where just it's a simple formula, you say the range, this is the group of cells that you are going to be looking at or you know evaluating and then our criterion is the actual value that we're going to look at within our range to determine if we're going to count that value i'm going to use metric at row so what this formula is basically saying is count everything in the food choices column i selected here where the value is equal to whatever is listed in the metric column in this particular row we can then turn this into a column formula, and it will apply to the chips. So now we have eight values. It's not exactly what was in the example, so I guess for just to make it perfect, if we delete some rows, we should have five and five. What we could do is we could just take this and chart it immediately, but it would be uh, better to put it into a report because you can configure the report to essentially be more adaptive to future changes. It's you're pretty uncommon you'd have a metric sheet just with this little amount of data you tend to be summarizing more information across your system so i'll have a column for chart and this is going to say call this food choices pie chart and what this allows you to do is you know let's imagine that you had another chart in here that you wanted to build and you wanted everything on the same metric sheet you can use this chart to indicate which row is associated with which chart and then separate them in reports so that you can have one sheet with all your metrics, put them into reports, and then graph those reports. To build your report, you would search for the sheet you want, and I've already selected food choices. It just, the report builder is funny sometimes, it doesn't show all the boxes sometimes. You're selecting the columns that you want to include, so we're going to want our primary column, which has the name of our stuff, and then the value, which has the numbers. And filter criteria, since it's so simple, this technically would work, but the way I would really do this in the real world is go to chart is one of, there's only one option now, but if you had more than one option, this is like, you know, for example, if we were in the metric sheet and we just had something else, that's not going to show up on this report. And therefore, we can use this to graph our data. All right, so this is good now. We can go ahead and turn this into a graph onto a dashboard. Let's make a chart. So we're going to add a widget chart. First thing you do is add your data. So this is where we're going to be looking for FOD choices, food choices. We're going to be looking for that report that we built. What happens when you select a report for a chart 
the entirety of it is selected by default. You can't change this. So this is why it's important that you configure your report in a way where the data that will be pushed into that report will show what you'd like it to show. So there we go. It's really that simple. It starts as a pie chart by default. And I'm just going to just, you know, why not? Let's make another version of this. That is a column chart. So we can see both. And now I'm going to show a few other things. So first thing that might change. So let's say we add cupcakes to our list and we put the cupcakes, cupcakes into our chart by adding it into this metric sheet. What we will see is that there is a place for cupcakes in the column chart, uh, not in the pie chart. There's a zero value, so there's a technically a placeholder being showed for cupcakes, but you know the pie chart only shows you what's actually in there. That's kind of interesting. And now if we go into our actual food choices sheets, now let's add a cupcake. Once we save this and refresh our dashboard, there we go. That is how you do it. That's going to be the end of this video. Hopefully it was helpful. And if you're interested in consulting services, we're a professional services firm. We're a Smartsheet partner. There is a link in the description if you'd like to fill out our client interest form. Or you could go to schoolofsheets.com slash work with us. Otherwise, if you enjoy the video, um, do all the YouTube stuff, like it, subscribe to the channel for new videos and share it. And if you have um, any other questions, leave a comment about what you'd like a video on and maybe I'll make one for you next. Have a great day.